Welcome back to the Sam Fomo channel. Today, I have the pleasure to introduce you to Kepler Exco inside FL Studio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So, Kepler Exco. So this is a, a new for a newer version. So we have already had another version. Indeed, if you bring up the selection here, um, you can right click and click replace, and then you can find along the sign Kepler as well, which is what we were used to um, with previous edition of uh, FL Studio. But now we have a new version, which is um, Kepler. Excel, which is fantastic. Look at it. So it's um, it's a reimagined June uh, six or Jupiter A in the new modern world of uh, plugins. So when you turn it on the first time, it has this sound, which is the default one, of course. But you can click here where it says presets, and then it opens up a list of presets, which of course you can select from which is fantastic so and it sounds really really good aggressive rich as well let's listen <laughs> So it sounds really, really rich in sound. So let's try a few more presets so we, you get an idea of what it sounds like. I recommend that you actually check the volume because it might be picking. So just adjust here the overall channel volume. It will help. Let's try these trans strings. And you can hear straight away that he's picking. You can see up here. So again, you can adjust a little bit the DC01 and 2 mix here from the mixer if you like. Or you can bring it in a limiter or a compressor or a soft clipper, whatever you prefer. Or just simply again adjust the um, channel volume. Interesting arps. Really great, and this classical Ethro Pulsar. So the sound quality is absolutely fantastic. Let's try some basses. I really like the view of the EQ here, which is really comprehensive, really well done. As you can see, you have different effects that you can apply. You have chorus, you have saturation here, high core, 
um, EQ, which you've just seen in a, in a moment, and then delay and reverb. And then, of course, you have your chorus here as well with the two different modes. <laughs> Immediately you see the star here because I modified it. Now let's try some uh, keys. Try a few more. Let's try now some pad. Again, be careful when you add a lot of polyphony, like in this case, check your volume. add some reverb. Oh, it was already on, so... Let's increase the size. Absolutely great. So let's change again presets. Let's try these warmest. Very good reproduction of warm synth from Roland, really nice. Let's try some solo. And then, of course, you have some synths as well. Look, lots of those. Sounds really happy, hence the name, Happy Day. Again, be very careful, it was clipping a little bit there. So as you can see, lot of different type of instrument bases here, highest type of synth, chords and leads and pad again, plucks as well. Really great. In terms of control, just to give you an overview, you have hold mode here, you have here octave transposition, uh, additional settings here as well. You have two, a main section, DCO1 and DCO2, and you can, of course, activate different uh, uh, waveforms here. You can set the level. Uh, you have a sub here with a sub uh, phase as well. And then you can adjust also here um, via pulse width modulation, or you can use LFO as well. And um, similar on DCO2, you can do cross modulation and change the shaping as well, which is great. Here you have your mixer as well, where you can introduce uh, um, noise as well. Your VCF um, section, uh, where you can adjust your frequency, your resonance, and then you can. Uh, um, have uh, envelope one and two here, um, 
which can affect the VCF, the high pass frequencies here. Your VCA is here, so if you want, for example, to adjust them um, a little bit, the sound to create a path, decrease a bit the cutoff here. And then set the VCA here to envelope one, and then adjust the uh, attack. Give it a bit of release. And immediately you have a pad, which you can, of course, adjust further. You have LFO 1 and LFO 2. You can change the rate, add some delay. You decide how they are triggered. You can adjust the phase in the shaping as well. Further, um, settings here like portamento the type of play mode like for example um, mono legato retrigini or on release arpeggiato activated then of course it depends on the type of um, And here you have all the different modes, the range, the rate here, gate as well. This is where you can decide uh, sources for modulation, their destination with their intensity. So just click on that. And so, for example, you can say LFO, uh, well, perhaps LFO 1 bipolar sine waveform directly into, for example, the main volume. Intensity, of course. And then you can adjust the frequency here on LFO1, the rate. You can introduce the delay, for example. You might have it uh, against something else instead of the main volume. You can just say go against the pitch, which is a bit aggressive, as you can hear. Might not want to have that um, there, but you can uh, put it against the cutoff, for example. Sound, sounds nice already. And then you can activate your chorus here. Your reverb here. Maybe adjust a little bit the delay. Maybe we act with envelope one on the VCA. Maybe a, a bit of attack. More decay.
and voila, you can create very unique preset. So it's a great addition, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's like having um, a June 6 or a Jupiter 8 um, produced right now with modern technology. Of course, it is a, a emulation, a software synth, and um, yeah, with new tools inside FL Studio, so really great. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and a bit of an introduction to the controls, and as always, see you next time. Bye.